Nicole Granson from BlackFilm.com. Nice to meet you guys. Good to meet you. And Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Um, I know everybody's busy setting intentions for 2020, um, but I kind of wanted to backtrack to 2019 because I know you made a post about what you were grateful for, yes. and I know this has to be your first lead role, something that you're extremely grateful for. Oh my God, absolutely. So I thought that last year was extraordinary, but my birthday is New Year's, and for some reason I've been looking forward to this year I, because I see it. 2020, perfect vision, clarity of vision is what I feel for the whole year, but I had no idea that it was gonna be back-to-back -back blessings like this, and it's just extraordinary, it's extraordinary. Amazing for you, and congrats, and happy birthday. Thank you very much. Um, and seeing the film, it felt to me like the parts were written for each of the actors that portrayed them. And when you were sitting down writing this, was that your intention? Did you know you wanted Crystal to play the lead role? Everybody's part just felt it, like it was made for them. And it no, not, in, not initially, but I tell you, the thing about that is that is the, is the mark of a great actor. And when they fall into those roles and you believe every move, every word, every eyebrow twitch, everything, and that's the brilliance of Crystal Fox, that's the brilliance of Makai Brooks and Felicia Rashad, Cicely Tyson and Brisha Webb, it's the brilliance of all that they did. There's a theme, well there are a few themes. There's love, there's happiness, there's finding yourself again. Um, and playing a middle-aged woman, and I think there are a lot of people who can relate who've been divorced. What was that like for you, and what message did you want to send in making this, and in terms of that theme? For me, one of the things that I love is actually being that, being being a person that is aging, hopefully, uh, hopefully as gracefully as I hope uh, you think is happening for Grace. But um, the experience was being able to tell a side of someone's story that we don't often get to see, and. Uh, the good and the bad of it, but I also love that, that I love the fact that you get to see the romantic side of that in an aging woman. But um, I love the fact that she's longing uh, for love. It will come her way, and I, that she doesn't close the door on it no matter what happens to her. Mm -hmm. There's there's promise, and I'm assuming your intention would be that people, and Tyler, in writing this, that people would see that there is, a, you know, there's some sort of like redemption in finding love again and being able to open up yourself. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure, absolutely. And and, and also after divorce, that does, that's not the end of your life. You just have to you love again, trust again, but be careful as you go in and because there are people who seek to devour people who have been through pain and, and want to destroy them. But but Grace, you know, I won't tell too much of it, but uh, she, she was up predators. against some predators. Yeah. Yes, there's a lot to unravel. I wish I could, you know, ask yeah. more questions, but I, <laughs> the audience will be thrilled. They'll be excited, and I think they'll be caught off guard. So yeah. it, it was a good one. Thank <laughs> so you. thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.